Hello and welcome to RadToots.com basic flash action script tutorial. In this tutorial I will be working with our previous uh, flash animation that we, we created, uh, the dancing robot, and I'm going to be adding some controls to control his arm movement. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a control panel here and we're going to add some buttons to this control panel to control the movement of his arms and maybe his head. So I'm draw a rectangle here and I'm going to convert it to a movie clip and call it controller. And once again we can see that now our controller movie clip is in our library. So I'm going to go into this movie clip now and I'm going to create a couple of buttons. So this button is going to move his right arm up and this button is going to move his right arm down. And then we'll make some buttons over here on the left. And these are going to move his ar left arm up and down. So once again I'm going to select these shapes here and I'm going to convert them into movie clip symbols. So this will be left up and this one will be left down. Here we have right up and right down. And I'm also going to go back to each one of our animations here and I'm going to just click and drag and delete all of these uh, remove all of these frames so that his arms and his head and etc are no longer animated. We're going to use our buttons to control the rotation of his arms. So let's get rid of this motion tween here. And I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of his appendages. You can also right click on the uh, the frame with the tween and you can <coughs> select remove tween. And same thing for his head. <coughs> remove frames and remove tween. And now his legs. Remove frames remove the tween and there we go, let's test this out, make sure he's not moving perfect now in order to control these movie clips here we're gonna have to make sure they have instance names so we can control them with action script so what you want to do is you want to select your movie clip and we can see that this movie clip is on our root uh, folder here and we're going to want to make sure that they have uh, instance names so I'll click on his right arm here and I'm just going to give this an instance name of right arm and then this is going to be instance name of left arm this will be head left leg and right leg so now we're going to come here and double click on the control panel movie clip and we're going to give these buttons instance names as well so we can refer to them in our action script so we'll call this button underscore left underscore up. This one will be button underscore left underscore down. And etc. There we go. And now we can start building our action script code and assigning uh, functions to these buttons. 
So let's select our keyframe up here and open up the actions panel and now we can start typing in our action script. So let's refer to our button left up. So this is our, our left button, our button that's going to control his left arm, which we named, uh, gave an instance name of button underscore left underscore up. And we're going to use the uh, function name on press. Now this basically means whenever you press the mouse on this button, it's going to run this function. And it's going to execute uh, whatever lines of code I type in here. Okay, so we want to refer to his left arm. And we can't just simply type in left underscore arm because that will assume that the left arm movie clip is within the controller, uh, within the controller movie itself. So we actually have to tell the action script to go back to the root and then indicate this, uh, this left arm movie clip. And I'll show you how to do that. So we go into our controller movie clip here and we go back to our action script and we use the, the command underscore root before the name of our movie clip. So now we're saying, okay, go back to the root and refer to the left arm movie clip. And then we're going to set the rotation, which is indicated by underscore rotation. And we're going to, uh, so it's going up, so we want it to go clockwise, which is going to be, we're going to be adding some, uh, some rotation to it. So I'm just going to save this, and let's test this out. So when I click this, you can see that it's, well, it's doing something, but it's not doing exactly what we want it to do. So let's go figure that out. Let's go into his left arm here. And when we click on his left arm, you can see that the, uh, the XY coordinate or, or origin is, uh, is this little cross right here. So it seems to be rotating around this point. So let's go into our movie clip. And we'll line up the, uh, the pivot point with the, with the cross. Now if we test this, and try rotating again. That's the motion that we want right there. So now we're going to have to go back to the root and we'll reposition this entire movie clip back here to where we want it. So with that in mind, let's go and apply that to the rest of these movie clips here. Just move this up a bit and then go back to the root and move it back down. with this leg. You want to center the pivot point with that cross there and then move it back. And I'm just using the arrow keys here to, uh, to move my object. It's a nice little precise way of, uh, of doing things. And once more for his head. I'm move this up here. Line that up with that pivot point. Go back to the root and move his head back down. Okay, now let's go back to our controller and we can start writing in the rest of our action script code.